Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to show you how I transitioned baby's changing area and her clothes into her nursery because she was in our bedroom previously. So here you see me putting her changing pad. We have the hatch changing pad which I love because we can just wipe it down, take her weight, highly recommend it. And then I'm also adding some water wipes and some antibacterial soap to the top because we go through that very quickly. I'm also adding some Clorox wipes and some hand and face wipes to the top. Now going into the drawer beneath is where I hold all of our stock for changing. So wipes, diapers, things like that. And I also am using some IKEA organizers to keep everything um, stacked nicely and neatly. It helps compartmentalize um, the products that we use. Um, so it makes it really easy for organizing. And you'll see here that I'm trying to utilize any space that I can uh, with extra diapers. I also took a second organizer, put it next to the bigger one, and I put things like her brush, her diaper rash cream, a thermometer, um, nail clippers, nail files, um, some tools I got from the hospital um, right next to it in case we need it. Um, that's kind of where I want to store it. Um, so you can see in the back I added more diapers and I also added our diaper pail bags for easy access because we change that out almost every other day. Now here I'm going to show you how I'm using the KonMari method to fold her onesies. So this is a short sleeve onesie. Um, I have a smaller box organizer that I go ahead and roll up and then I put several in there and just stack them all together so I know which one I'm reaching for. Here's another example of using a longer sleeved onesie. Uh, it's pretty much the same method. I just go ahead and fold the sleeves long ways to keep that kind of nice long um, strategy and then fold it up and then it'll stay stacked right into the box. Next I'm taking one of her fleece onesies which happens to be one of her uh, favorite things to wear. So we go through these a lot. So at first I was going to fold it in half and then I realized that wasn't going to work. So I went ahead and just met it in the middle, similar to the long sleeve onesie, except we have little legs that we're working with. So I kind of just keep it in a nice long line and then I go ahead and fold uh, these together so that they would stand up straight and then I put it into the box. So next I have another long sleeve onesie that she's wearing, but this is a cotton one so it's not quite as thick. And I go ahead and use the same method that I used um, for the fleece onesie, but um, it's going to lay right next to it. Um, don't let the size of the uh, clothes deter you from feeling like you're not going to have enough room because you will. I wanted to show this too because um, I really love these. This is actually from Lulu and Company. This is like a long nightgown um, and so there aren't any legs to it but you basically make the same long line for the onesie and then you roll it up and then it'll stack just like the other ones that I used. Okay so moving on I went ahead and filled up the diaper pail with a new um, liner and with this the ubi diaper pail you can actually use any bags that you want um, but I happen to just use the ubi um, trash bags because they were comparable in price and they're really sturdy and keeps the smell out pretty well super easy to add and take out uh, when we need to So just taking a closer look, you can kind of see how I packed as many diapers. I added the Clorox wipe to the top drawer. I have some bibs in the back, an extra diaper um, pack, and then I actually moved um, all of her little uh, medicine and brushes to the end of the drawer just so that we kept all the diapers, as many as possible, together. 
The second drawer is where I have most of her newborn onesies. I organize them from short sleeve to long sleeve to her sleepers and then her muslin swaddles and some um, socks that we occasionally use on her feet. In the last drawer, I just have her three to six months. We're sort of kind of having her wear those, but not really. She's still a newborn, so those are in the bottom drawer. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you'll subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.